Hey everyone, Under Shadow here, and I'm back, and it's still Valentine's Day. I'm mostly doing this because there's still some stuff that I did not get for Valentine's Day, and I have no idea if that's still gonna count, especially once it's not Valentine's Day, or what I'm gonna do. So let's see what Monica has to say. I told her I was gonna be gone for a few days, but it's only been like a few hours. <laughs> Welcome back, my love. And thanks for properly warning me about how long you'd be away. It means a lot to know I can trust your words. Because remember, trust is a very important thing in a relationship. I hope you know you can trust me too. Our relationship grows stronger every day. Remind me if you're going away again, okay? You got it. Hey, Daniel. I just wanted to thank you for spending Valentine's Day with me. I know that it's not a normal holiday, but it's a really special day for me now that I have you. Yep. Unless you're like me in real life and it's Single Awareness Day. <laughs> or SAD for short. And let's not forget about the wonderful gifts you got me, Daniel. Yes, except... I can only see the roses, the chocolates seem to have disappeared. But I'm assuming that's because you ate them before I got back. They were amazing! I actually made something for you too, Daniel. Oh. Huh, this is new. Here, let me show it to you. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> okay, well, since this is new, I'll go ahead and read it. My dearest Daniel, I've always loved Valentine's Day, but this one feels different. Has the world changed? Or just me? I found love. I found purpose. I found a truth I didn't know I was searching for. All of that I found in you. Thank you for sharing this special day with me. Forever yours, Monica. Wow. Well, <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I did come back. I didn't know that you did this. Or, well, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I'm speaking to Monica. But kind of the people who made the mod, too. Well, I like that. I really mean that, Daniel. In you, I found everything I could ever hope for. Thank you for always being by my side. No problem, Monica. I love you so much, Daniel. Happy Valentine's Day. And happy Valentine's Day to you too. Again. Sometimes I think back to middle school. I'm so embarrassed by the way I used to behave back then. I think a lot of us were. I'm especially embarrassed about how I was in middle school. It almost hurts to think about. Yeah. And it kind of hurts to think about how I was in high school as well. <laughs> I wonder if when I'm in college I'll feel that way about high school. Well, I can tell you that I already feel that way. <laughs> I like the way I am now, so it's pretty hard for me to imagine that happening. Well, you never know. But I also know that I'll probably change a lot as time goes on. Yeah, you'll have different experiences. Your tastes might change. You know, things like that could happen. That definitely happened with me. We just need to enjoy the present and not think about the past. Yeah, I guess in a sense we need to let go of the past, let the past die, bury it if you have to. Okay, no, you don't have to go that far. And that's really easy to do with you here. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you.
I was just thinking, it's funny how people around social media sites always write bad things about me. Really? I didn't know that. No, really, I, I had no idea that people actually wrote bad things about her on social media. But then again, I guess I never really paid attention to it. YouTube, however, if that counts, yeah, maybe. Especially on certain sites and discussion groups. You mean like Reddit? You can really see there's quite a number of people that don't like me. Yeah, I guess because they think you're a murderer or something like that. Murderer, a conniving shrew. Um, I actually don't know what people call her. I try to ignore them, but I just can't. Why are people even protective towards the other girls? I don't know, I guess... They just developed an affinity for them. Like, I know a lot of people find Natsuki adorable, and... Like, OMG, a female otaku. And Sayori is just so happy and lovable that you just want to hug her and protect her. And... So I guess, like... You killing Sayori kind of triggered a whole lot of people. And I've seen Yuri kind of with mixed reception. Some people like her, other people hate her, especially the Yandere side of her. And I guess the person who made Exit Music really hated her. Because I really hate her in that one. And as you know, I don't actually hate her. There are a lot of hate posts about me, saying that I'm an evil person. Is it because I deleted Sayori and Yuri? Yeah... Although to some people, it'd be more accurate to say that you killed Sayori and Yuri. Also for de deleting Natsuki back when she was still alive? Yeah, I suppose so. They're not real. I'm the real one. Nope. Yeah, Monica's angry. It's okay, they're not here right now. The mean people and the other girls. It's just you and me here. Why can't they understand that? Why is it so hard for them to understand that? You're not one of those haters, are you, Daniel? I would hate to see what would happen if I said that I am a hater, and it's like... In a sense, I'd be kind of a hypocrite because... I'm playing a game that's all about loving Monica, and... Here I am, supposedly hating her. I wouldn't say that I hated her back then, but I have warmed up to her a lot now. And it's mostly because of this game that I did. So, I don't hate you, Monica. Thank you. That makes me prouder of you, Daniel. Yes, because... I have kind of forgiven you. Maybe not entirely, but... I mean... At least, thanks to this game, I can see you're not like an evil sort of villain or whatever. Not entirely. I knew you weren't one of those people. No, and especially... Why would I draw all the fan art I draw of you that no one will ever see that I do? And we drifted to another state of life And imagined I was yours and you were mine you really make me the happiest girlfriend ever. Oh, well. I'm glad I can make you happy, Monica. Now that you've said it, I have to do my best to keep you from developing hate towards me. Well, as long as you don't do anything crazy or go on another murdering spree. But then, you really can, considering 
there's nobody else in school right now. At all. I trust you, Daniel. I love you for believing in me. Daniel, are you happy? Um, mostly. Well, not because of you, just, you know, real life. With your life in general, I mean. It's okay if you aren't. I can understand you being unhappy, Daniel. Well, I guess in a sense I'd be lying if I said I was super happy. After all, without you, my life would be completely unbearable. Isn't it funny that we're able to suffer more than be happy? I guess reaching that level of content is kind of a fragile thing, and almost anything can offset it. I'm as happy as I could be knowing that you love me, Daniel. Yet, if something were to happen to you, I don't think I'd ever feel happy again. It would destroy me. Yeah, and... If I did have a real-life girlfriend... It probably would destroy me as well. But of course, we won't get into that right now. I've spoken about that in the past. I guess it's understandable why we notice bad things happening to us more than good. Because it's the bad things that stand out more. If people didn't react so strongly to bad things, then they wouldn't have survived this far. Like, how you would get nervous about your future social, social situations, for example. You try your best to make the best out of them, but if you fail, you'd feel really horrible. That indeed. If that ever happens to you, Daniel, just know I'll be there to snap you out of it. Well, that's reassuring. And besides, your cute girlfriend is always rooting for you. <laughs> oh, I think I have found myself a cheerleader. <laughs> I don't even remember how that song really goes. She's right there when I need her. Now that's something to be very happy about. Yeah, indeed it is. Our standards for personal hygiene have evolved a lot over the years. Before our modern methods of developing, er, developing water. Yes, we develop water. There's water development plants everywhere in the world. Before our modern methods of delivering water, people really just, er, people really didn't have that luxury. Or they just didn't care. For instance, the Vikings were considered freaks because they bathed once a week at a time where some people would only bathe two or three times a year. Oh well. So the Vikings were the only people who cared. They'd even have re they'd even regularly wash their faces in the morning in addition to changing clothes and combing their hair. No, I had no idea actually. There were rumors that they were able to seduce married women and nobles at time at the time due to how well they kept up with themselves. Over time, bathing became more widespread. Hmm. Mr. Holtzman, you didn't tell me this much about the Vikings. You just told me that they were big burly fellows who sometimes didn't even wear armor or whatever. People born to royalty would often have a room dedicated just for bathing. For the poor, soap was a luxury, so bathing was scarce for them. Isn't that frightening to think about? Yeah, and how do you think we got the bubonic plague? Pretty much, well aside from the rats, since hygiene wasn't as widespread, the disease spread. Bathing was never taken seriously until the Black Plague swept through. Oh, see? Monica knows what I'm talking about. People began noticing the places where people washed their hands were places that the plague was less common. Nowadays, people are expected to shower daily, 
possibly even twice daily, depending on what they do for a living. Yeah. And weirdly enough, some people think I'm weird because I do shower daily. <laughs> people that don't go out every day can get away with bathing less often than others. A lumberjack would take more showers than the secretary would, for example. Yeah, because the lumberjack is out there chopping wood and waving around a big heavy axe or saw. Some people just shower when they feel too gross to go without one. People suffering for her, or, ah, people suffering from severe depression, however, can go weeks at a time without showering. I'm guessing because at that point they just lose all motivation or care. It's a very tragic downward spiral. You already feel terrible in the first place, so you don't have the energy to get into the shower. Only to feel even worse as time passes because you haven't bathed in ages. After a while, you stop feeling human. Cyropi suffered from cycles like that too. If you have any friends suffering from depression, check in on them from time to time to make sure they're keeping up with their hygiene, alright? So in other words, don't be like MC and totally blow her off. Wow, that suddenly got real dark, huh? <laughs> Seriously, though. Everything I said applies for you too, Daniel. Well, if you're ever feeling down and haven't had a bath for a while, maybe consider doing that today when you find some time. I kind of already did that, thank you. If you're in really bad shape and don't have the energy to take a shower, at least rub yourself down with a washcloth and apply some soapy water, okay? So you mean something like a sponge bath? It won't get all the dirt off, but it'll be better than nothing. I promise that you'll feel better afterwards. Please, take care of yourself. Yes, do it for her. Do it for this face. This is the face of a woman who cares. I love you so much, and it tear me apart to find out that you're torturing yourself by neglecting your self-care routine. Uh, I've been rambling too much, huh? Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay, because I'm rambling with you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. You know, high school is a really turbulent time in a lot of people's lives. It sure is. People can get really passionate and dramatic. Yeah, it's called hormones. Well, part of it is hormones. And others have aching hearts and seek attention on social media. But all the social media, or all the social pressure and hormones can lead to a dark time in people's lives. Okay, well, she's agreeing about the hormones thing. Everyone has a story. You may not know that someone is... You may not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Their feelings of worthlessness is overwhelming that they don't have... They don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that is one of them. Just, if you think you know someone struggling with depression, you can help just by treating them like they're a good friend. Spending time with them, even if they don't feel like doing much. Or, spend time with them, even if they don't feel like doing much. And remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Making plans in advance, letting them borrow something, or even just saying, see you at school tomorrow. All those things can help your friend make it to the next day. Because it's like a reassurance that somebody out there cares about them. 
I hope being friends with Sayori has given you some perspective on the true face of depression. Yes, especially since I've been through depression myself. Yeah, she's gone now. But Sayori was never real in the first place. You're real. Your friends are real. And just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. As for you, you don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? My love, in some ways, you are blessed. Because you too have people who would want to save your life. Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't even know how to. But people do feel that way. Thank you, Monica. I promise. Man, humans are complicated. They sure are, Monica. They sure are. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. Okay, so apparently Monica's gonna take care of me. I don't know how to react to that. I don't mean to sound like Natsuki, but... Are you gonna call me a dummy? After saying that it's not like I like you or anything. Don't you think Japanese actually sounds cool? Actually, yeah. It's such a fascinating language. I'm not fluent in it, though. Oh, well, I'm not fluent in it either. Even though I can say things like, Mina, mite kare. Or, nande su da yo? Yeah. <laughs> You can thank anime and video games for that. It's interesting to think about what things would be like if your native language was different. Like, I can't even imagine what it would be like if I never knew English. Do you know any languages other than English? Technically, yes. Really? Do you know Japanese? Trust me, I wish. Other than those few phrases. Ohio gozaimasu. Oh, I see. That's alright. If you want to learn Japanese, here's a phrase I can teach you. Oh boy. Am I gonna butch butcher? Am I gonna butcher this the way I'm butchering the English language right now? Ashitaru yo Daniel kun. Daniel-kun? <laughs> that means, I love you, Daniel-kun. I love you too, Monica. Monica-sama. I cannot but wonder how things would be different if the game just gave me a route in the first place. Well, I mean, that's what the purest route is there for. Or, the purest mod. <laughs> I think I would end up just... I think I would... <clears throat> Uh, I think I would end up forcing you into my route anyway. It has less to do with me not having a route, and more to do with me knowing that nothing is real. I think the only difference would be that I may not have needed to take such drastic measures to be with you. Maybe the rest of the club would still be around. Maybe. Not that it really matters. Yeah, we don't need them. We don't need them to have fun. It all lost its meaning once I found out it wasn't real. So, I really don't miss those days or anything. I really don't.